It is noon. Hello. Now we're really, really live. Hello. It's noon. My name is Regina Ward. If we don't know each other, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for um, coming into my uh, practice space. I welcome you. If we don't know each other, um, please friend me or send me a message. Uh, join or subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a lot of workout stuff there. There's a lot of yoga stuff. Um, and we'll just have a good time. All right. I am uh, live via Facebook. The computer's down there. And I'm live via Zoom, um, which is here. <laughs> and I have my tablet here so that I can make sure uh, that I can see if anybody is commenting on anything. And I'm also, well, I got a lot of stuff going on there. Um, <laughs> and then I also have my phone, which is working as volume or sound for the Zoom computer. So I'm sorry, I really want to make this happen for you. So I'm, I got everything worked on in order to make this happen for you. I also have a screen off to the side for my Zoom people so I can see you. It's much bigger. All right. Welcome. Uh, so this is part four in our, in my Vinyasa series of beginner. And uh, what I mean by beginner is not necessarily that you're a beginner yoga student, or if you are a beginner yoga student, it's perfect. Or if you're a beginner vinyasa student, um, it's perfect. If you are a seasoned person and you just want to come back to your yogic foundation, it is perfect. And if you just want to move your body right now, it's perfect. Okay. Um, so vinyasa, just to review, if you haven't been in any of the other uh, sessions, the vinyasa class is a um, just making sure that nobody's saying anything. Uh, <laughs> vinyasa class is taking uh, sequences, it's taking poses. So we have our poses, and then it's linking them together in, to make a sequence, kind of like a dance routine. Um, if you're taking Zumba with me, it's kind of like a dance routine. It's putting these movements together um, while linking the breath. And it, it's flowy. It's flowy like a dance routine. And as you, get, as you learn the sequence and as their body memorizes it, you'll get to move and flow kind of without thinking about it. And then you'll be able to kind of go into a meditative state while you're doing it. You know, you won't worry. About, and you'll do it with your breath. You'll do it with your movement. It won't matter what the teacher is cueing. It won't matter what the class is doing. And in that way, you'll get to find your authentic self. So it's a, it's a really beautiful practice. The most important thing I want you to do is just to remember to breathe through this. Um, also, as far as beginner, I'm not going to be doing any, um, excuse me, I'm not going to be doing any balancing poses or any uh, plank poses <laughs> or uh, chaturanga, that, that kind of thing. You'll find out what that is in the next uh, series. Um, but it, and it'll be mostly guided, completely mostly guided. Um, I'll still be here. I won't stop. I will continue to show the poses. So it'll be either um, visibly guided or audibly guided. Okay? So let's get started. Um, we're going to use our break. We're going to start in a supported hero pose at the back of your mat. All right? We set the job off to the side. Supported hero pose at the back of the mat. Now, um, again, if you don't want to use the brick, you don't have to. So hero pose is just on your knees. And you're going to put the brick between your heels. And you're going to sit on it, right? And that's just going to raise you up a little bit higher. And it's also going to help you if, for some reason, <clears throat> your uh, your hips are tight and you can't sit all the way down onto the floor, all right? And that's also available to you um, if you want to do that. Now, I'm using this because as soon as I went down on the floor, my knees and my thighs were like, what are you doing? All right, so your body is going to tell you what, you're, what you need to do. All right. Let out that breath like I just did. I don't know what you've been doing all morning, but I've been going through it, you know, stuff we, we go through in our head. And sometimes it's stuff that it doesn't even matter because it's not present. It's taking you back to the past. It's taking you to the future. It's causing you suffering. And that is what yoga is hoping to do. It is helping to calm that that part of our nervous system that causes us to react and, and to freak out and, ah, it just causes us to respond and say, hey, what, what's going on? Like, is this really happening right now, or, or are you just making this all up in your head? Do you have to worry about this right now? No, you don't have to. So that's what yoga does if you're wondering, if you're thinking about coming to the practice, if you're just passing through. 
All right, so we're sitting our hero pose. We're sitting up nice and tall. And I want you to pull the belly muscles in to the spine. Pull the ribs in as you see my back is straight. So we don't want to sit with an arch like that. And then we don't want to round, all right? So shoulders are back and down. And we're just breathing normally. So I want you to close your eyes no matter what I do. I might turn towards the camera and talk or something like that. But I want you to close your eyes and just breathe naturally in and out through your nose or in and out through your mouth, whatever is most comfortable. The most important thing is that I want you to just notice your natural breath, all right? It might be fast, your heart might, might be up, it might be slow, it, it, it might be anything. Um, I just want you to notice it and not judge it. I also want you to notice what's going on in your body. Notice if your knees are tight or your hips are tight or your shoulders are tight. Just notice it, but don't talk about it. Don't judge it, right? Because this is what's happening now. We can't really do anything about it. So why judge it? So I want you to take a big breath in through the nose. Open up side out through the mouth. Let everything go. Deep breath in through the nose. Open up side out through the mouth. One more time. Deep breath in through the nose. Open up side out as you exhale, move those belly muscles into the sky, into the spine. I don't know if you saw this, so it's like my belly's up, right? Now pull it in. That's the exhale. That exhale uh, engages the belly, it supports the low back, and it makes your pelvis neutral, right? So inhale and exhale. And I want to do that about five times. So here quietly, breathe into the nose, and as you exhale, breathe out, pull the belly into the spine, and then increase the length of the breath. So inhale, and exhale through the nose this time. Feel the breath swirl in the back. If you take your time on those five breaths, just meet me when you can. Next inhale, we're going to interlace our fingers behind the low back. Pull down towards the tailbone. Inhale, open up the chest. Now, as you do that, your belly is going to want to pop. Your ribs are going to want to pop. But I want you to pull the belly in and just lengthen from the upper part of the back. Let the head fall back as much as you can while still breathing. If you can't breathe, back up. Good. So the, the pivotal pose we're going to work towards today is the... Uh, Side angle pose, but we're going to do it with a bind, and it's going to take a lot of shoulder opening for that. So that's what we're going to work towards. Open, and then exhale. I want you to grab your heels, lift them through your hips, bring your forehead down or the crown of your head down as best you can into rabbit pose. Now, here you're going to feel your back nice stretched. Do the best you can to get the top of your head down. I got this bun on top. I can't really do that. So I'll put my forehead down. And just breathe. Feel the release. Don't judge. Inhale. Come back up. Let's do that again. Open the chest into that seated hero. Get a bit. Exhale. Round in. Take rabbit pose. Grab your heels. Lift the tailbone up. So the is linking the poses together through the breath. This is the inhale. And this is the exhale. Let's do that one more time. Then we're going to add poses on just for the sequence. Inhale. And exhale. Now this time, inhale. Open, open. Exhale, take the heels, come in the rabbit. Inhale, plant your palms right by your knees, curl your toes. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. We're going to come into like a shortened downward facing dog. All right, good. So here, I'm feeling really full of my hamstrings and my calf. Woo! All right, palms are pressing. It's going to seem like your shoulders are reaching away from your ears, which they are. I want you to see if you can pull them back and hug your shoulder blades together. All right, you're really going to feel this action in your shoulders. And that's, again, we want to start guiding those shoulders back for this pose, for our life. So one more breath. Exhale, come back down onto the knees. Sit back on your block. Take it again. Inhale. 
Exhale for rabbit. Inhale, plant the palms, curl the toes under. Exhale, lift the hips into that short downward facing dog. Don't move your hands. Work to pull the shoulders away from the ears. Bring the chest towards the thighs. Really feel those hamstrings. Next exhale, come on back down. Sit back on the block. Open. Let's do that two more times. Rabbit. it. Plant the palm. Shorten down the exhale. Each time, continue to make sure that those shoulders wrap behind you. Keep pulling those shoulder blades away from the ears in each pose that you come to today. Yeah, come on back down. We can remove the block. Let's come to our hands and knees into table pose, all right? So for table pose, shoulders are over the wrist, hips are over the I pointed to my pointed to my hips when I'm in <laughs> when I said shoulders, right? Shoulders over the wrist, <laughs> hips over the knees. All right, we're in table pose. Take a little time if your back or if your hips are kind of out tight. You can rock from side to hot side, shift the hips, and take a few cat cows, inhaling to drop the belly, lift the heart, exhale, push into the mat around. Good. So take a few of those, and then meet me back into table pose with that nice straight spine. So belly wants to go here, right? So let's pull the belly up and in, all right? Tailbone is neutral. It's going back towards the back of the room. All right, we're going to do a spinal balance with some uh, uh, hip opening work, all right? So take the right leg, extend it back, belly up and in. Lift that leg to hip level. Now, do you see how my hip kind of turned open? Turn it down. See if you can lift a little bit higher from the inner thigh. So take the left arm out. Extend it like you're going to shake someone's hand. Yes, yeah, spine is neutral. So the back is really long. See how there's a long line from my fingertips all the way to my heel? Good. Bring that palm down. We're going to turn off into a side plank. So leave the left, uh, left palm planted. Reach up with the right arm, all right? And then the outer edge of that back foot is down. Good. So we're going to lift up that top leg, keep the belly engaged, bend into the knee, and reach back with that right hand to see if we can grab the foot. Open the chest, open the hip. Breathe. Pull that foot, pull that knee behind you so you're feeling the stretch all in the quad and in the hip flexor. Good, good. Inhale, release that, put the foot down. We'll turn back down and come back into that spinal balance, all right? So from here, we're going to do that again. Bend the knee, keep the heel in towards the butt. This time, we're going to reach back and around with the left hand. Now, if you can't reach your foot, I want you to try to, try to do it because that's going to throw you off, all right? So if you can't reach it, reach around for it, all right? Maybe take the foot in closer and grab it. And then you're going to twist open. You're going to lift that knee up and twist open to the left. Just breathe. Keep kicking that foot into the hand. Keep lifting the knee up. See if you can open and look over that left shoulder. Good. Release it. Extend back out. Bring the palm down. Bring the knee down. Woo. Shift the hips from side to side. All right, can we do the other side? Yes, let's try. Left leg, extend it out. You see how I turn my hip down? Great. Lift it up. Belly's in. This is the harder side for me. Extend out. Now I'm going to turn around. Send down a butt piece for this first one. <laughs> All right. Good. Bring the palm down. Take that right wrist this time. Keep it down. And then we'll lift off into a side plank on the right side. Now, same thing, lift that top leg. Good. When that top leg lifts, your back is going to want to arch. So I'm being over dramatic so I can show you, actually show you, but you're not going to look that over dramatic. <laughs> All right, bend the knee. See if we can bring the heel 
into the foot if you can't just reach for it but think about opening the shoulder all right breathe up both shoulders down the back good inhale release pop them down let's turn back to the front turn down and then come back into spinal balance left leg right arm bend into the heel keep that knee lifted reach back for it all right once you get it lift it up kick the foot into the hands twist open and look over that right shoulder breathe good release bring the palm down bring the knee down it's from side to side so curl the toes, lift the hips, up and back, down dog. All right, so this is our full down dog. You can pedal out the feet here. Do whatever you need to do with your hips. Woo. Rise to the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, step up, forward fold. Fold in. Half lift in here. Pull the shoulders back, press into the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up, reach. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the low back. Inhale, pull down, towards the tailbone, open the chest. So remember when we did it on the brick? Remember, so if we pull down, look at the hips are going forward and looking all crazy. <laughs> So keep the knees soft, belly in, and as you lengthen, lengthen through whoo, that upper part of the chest. Yeah, inhale, tall mountain. Now we're going to take a step out to the wide edge of the mat. And we're going to take Prasarita Padosa Mountain as the wide leg forward fold. But there's four versions in the Ashtanga practice, which Talk about later. There's four versions, and each one is going to help to open up these shoulders a little bit more. So set the feet wide, not too wide where you feel like you're doing a split. Bowls are going to face forward. Take an inhale. All right, so we were here, right? Take an inhale, and then exhale to fold in and bring your palms down to the mat, fingers and toes in line. So you feel your hamstrings again. You might feel your uh, calf. Spread the palms and pull the shoulder blades away from the ears. I know you can't see that action, but pull the shoulder blades away from the ears. Bend the elbows, bring the forehead down or the crown of the head down. Breathe. Then inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands come to the hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, step to the back of your mat. Tall mountain, inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the tailbone. Inhale to open. Open that chest. Remember, keep the ribs in, keep the belly in. Exhale to fold. Inhale, pull the shoulders away. Open. Exhale, release the fingers. Inhale, come all the way up. Tall mountain. Exhale, step back out to the long edge of the mat. Let her be. All right? So inhale, arms come out to your feet. Can't remember if this is B or C, but we're going to do them all. <laughs> inhale, inhale, yeah. inhale, put the fingers behind the low back. All right? Pull back, open. Open the chest. And then exhale, take that, fold in. I think this is the third one, but that's okay. Lift the arms off the low back, but keep the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe. A little bit harder, so maybe soften the knees. Good. Inhale, release the fingertips down, or exhale, release the fingertips down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands come to the hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, step back to the front of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, interlace behind the tailbone. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Do you feel the flow? Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. We're going to step back out to the long edge of the mat. 
hands to the hips. Exhale, fold. So this time, before we fold, hands to the hips, cross those elbows behind you. Actually, maybe you can move your move your thumbs together to the back of the body, just to ensure that those shoulders don't punch forward. Do you see this this time? Good. Open. Hug the elbows together. Take a breath in, and then exhale, fold in. So the challenge, the reason why this is a little bit harder, is because as you fold, you're going to want to release everything, all right? So fold in. Keep those thumb touches behind you. Keep the elbows hugging behind you. This is a lot of action. It's very challenging. Hug the shoulder blades down the back. Good. Release. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, step to the back of the mat. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale. Yeah, side of the mat. This time, we're going to fold in. This is the last one, letter D. In next figures are going to grab the big toes. Now, I want you to imagine that you're trying to pull your toes apart, all right? Did you see that engagement in my uh, arms and shoulders, pulling them back and away? And then while doing that, you're pulling your forehead down. Hold your shoulder blades back. You see my elbows are bent. And breathe. More hamstrings, more inner thighs, maybe. It's weird trying to talk <laughs> when I'm upside down. Inhale, half lift. <laughs> Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take that interlace. Inhale, open. And then exhale, fold. Good. Release the fingertips down. All right, so now we're going to go to our next flow. So this is the main flow. There was only one kind of main flow, and we're going to do that all together a few times, all right? And we're going to go into our uh, pivotal pose during that time, and I'll tell you when to grab your strap. All right, so half lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the palms. I want you to step back to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. When you're ready, lift your right left, excuse me, left leg up towards the step. Turn the hips down. Again, keep the shoulders hugging away from the ears. Step your foot through between the hands. We're going to come into warrior one. If you've been we all week, we've done warrior one a lot. If you haven't, pivot and plant the back foot. Hips are neutral, but this femur bone is externally rotated a little bit, right? Bend into the front knee. And then reach the arms up. One by one. We'll take this a little bit at a time. Now, the toe is externally rotated, right? It's going that way. So that means the femur bone is externally rotated. But I want your hips to face forward. Hips to face neutral. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So you might need to turn that back toe in just a little bit more. Knee, left knee is going to open out to the left. Lift the belly in, lift up. No bone roots down. Start. Very good. Breathe. And think for about five breaths. Five breaths each pose, and then we'll move on, and then we'll make it a little, little bit faster. All right. So again, let's use this inner thigh if you've been working this week. So let's imagine we're taking this right thigh, going to the inside, and we're wrapping it. We're wrapping that thigh muscle back. But do you see how my butt goes up? Root the tailbone now. Let's make both those actions come at the same time. Okay? Good. Next exhale, we're going to fold in. Actually, sorry. We're going to interlace the fingers again. Forgot about my whole part. As I was going down, I saw my notes, and I was like, nope, you forgot. <laughs> All right. So exhale, interlace the fingers behind a little bit. Inhale, open the chest. Remember, belly in. We've been doing this all morning or all class so far. Exhale, fold in, humble warrior. Now, 
The only support we have is this front quad. It's really challenging because we're building heat in that front quad. Maybe fold in, maybe see if you can bring that shoulder to the inside of the front knee. Doesn't matter. Only thing I don't want you to do is lay on it. Don't lay on it. Try to lift up through the core and hold. Breathe. Good. Now exhale, release the fingertips down and then straighten. See my belly is right on the thigh. Straighten through that front knee. Now we're in a pyramid pose. All right. You can bring your palms down. If you need to, you can flatten them. You can bring your fingertips down. If you need to grab two blocks and put them underneath, let me show you just so you'll know what I'm talking about, bringing the floor closer to you. All right. So let's say your arms are sore and you can't reach and you feel like you're hunching. You can use the blocks to bring the floor closer to you. Good? All right. I do want you to have a brick near just in case. If you're joining me live on Facebook, even if you're just passing through, hi, give me a like or a, or a hello. All right, from here, from, uh, from Pyramid, see my hips are turned down. You're going to bring your, it's going to be a little bit challenging if you keep your hand behind your foot. So bring your uh, left palm to the inside of your left foot, and then I want you to open up to triangle. Good? All right. So this is how we're going to start to get into that side angle pose that we're going to do. Now, if you feel like, because here I feel like my chest is kind of turned down and I feel like my shoulder is behind me. So that's what I'm going to use, the brick, to lift me up a little bit. Good? Does that make sense? And I keep wrapping this knee. I keep bending and wrapping this knee that way so that it doesn't buckle in. All right? So we got triangle pose. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You're doing good. If you need to adjust your feet, your hips feel funny, please do. Good. Now, we're going to go on a side angle from here. I set my foot back just a little, just in case, but you'll know as soon as you bend your knee. So we're going to stay here with the hand either here or on the ground. And then I'm going to bend into this left knee. Aha, 90 degrees. Reach that right arm over the ear. So we got a full-blown side angle, right? So remember, keep wrapping these shoulders down and away. I know you saw that adjustment. I just saw my own. If you want to try to bring your palm down or your fingertips down, let me show you. Feel free because we're going to get here eventually, all right? The back leg is straight. It's are nice and square. Now, inhale, come on up. Ooh. Straighten out that knee. We're going to go to the other side. I'm going to leave a brick over here. We're going to go to the other side and it's a side angle. All right? But we're not going to do it that way until we, I'll show you because I'm going to get ahead of myself and you're like, what are you talking about, Regina? All right. So on this side, bend it to the right knee. Right forearm is going to come onto the side. Left arm is going to reach. So it's a variation of it, but it's a little bit different. So when we get here, remember, open up the chest, wrap this top pinky down so that the bicep is hugging in and the shoulder is back. And then we get here, we're going to do a couple of things. So we're going to start here. Then we're going to take this forearm and extend it out, ah, like you're hugging a beach ball. Now, that's going to force you to use this leg a little bit more to hold yourself in a 90-degree position. All right? We're going to take this top arm. Flip the palm and wrap it behind us. Did you see that when I deal with my shoulder? I'll do it. I'll over dramatize it so you can see. Woo! Good? All right. So we're going to stay here for a few breaths. That's hard. It's not just hard for you, it's challenging. But as you settle into your breath, you'll be able to handle a little bit more. Keep wrapping that shoulder back. Good. Exhale. Turn down. Plant the palms down. Step back to downward facing dog. Tell it out. We're going to do it again with the right leg. And then we're going to go a little bit faster. Then we're going to add the strap to get the bind. The right leg is going to lift. 
Exhale, step it through between the hands. Come into warrior one. First time on this side. Right foot forward, left foot back, turned up towards the right, the upper left hand corner of the mat. Good. Inhale, reach up. Let's do the same thing on this side. Take that left hand. Imagine you're trying to rotate that air side behind you. So look at and then look at what it does. It turns my hips back even. Good. All right, and then reach the tailbone down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Exhale, interlace. Take the bind. Inhale to open. Exhale, fold in, humble warrior. I'm just going to check and go to humble warrior. I'm going to check and make sure we're still good on sound. We are. All right. I'm sure you probably would have told me. Yeah, I can't hear you. All right, fold in. Yeah, remember. So just away from the ears, let the belly hover, or if you can, bring it to the inside of the knee. Remember, the back of that, the outside of that back foot is down, which is important when we go into the next pose. Exhale, release the fingertips down, straight through that right knee. Belly comes onto the side, pyramid pose. So my hamstring is a little bit tighter on this side. <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to bring the floor up closer to me so that my back can stay straight. Breathing, you good? All right. So remember, I said bring the palm now to the inside. Just because it's a little bit more challenging in that way. If it stays on the outside, inhale, reach that left arm up. Triangle pose. Now, do you see how I'm just kind of sinking into this shoulder? Root it back and lift up. I got a ding. What's going on? I don't know. Okay. Not for me. Okay. <laughs> all right. I got to check all things to make sure that people are, you know, you can still hear me or you'll have a comment or a question. All right. Triangle pose. Good. Stay here. Start to bend into the knee. Right? So now we got, we can put the brick on whatever level. Side angle pose. All right, open up. So it's a little harder for me on this side. I'm going to raise the brick up to the third level so that I can open up my chest. Good? Yeah, I'll show you what I meant because when it was down here, since my hamstrings are tight, my hip is tight on this side, I feel like I'm turned down. And for this pose, you want to be open, turned out open. Good? Very beautiful. All right. Inhale and come on up. Let's go to the other side. Take that side angle pose with the forearm on the side. And then right arm reaches. Good. Good. Open the chest. All right. What do we do after that? We extend this arm. Balance for a little bit. Using this. Using that leg. Using the core. And then flip this palm behind you so that the top of the hand is on the back. And I'm going to show you, just dramatically show you, so you can see what I'm talking about. Open that shoulder. Reach. Good. Plant the hands turned down. Plant the hands step back. Now we're facing dog. Take a few breaths. Shake it out a little bit. Rise to the toes. Bend the knees. Look between the hands. Step up. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Come on up, reach. Exhale, take that bind. We're getting these shoulders open, right? Exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, release and fold. Step back, down dog. We're going to take that left side again. Step it through. Just a little bit more swiftly using the breath. Inhale, make sure you're breathing. Exhale, take the bind. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, hold. Breathe. Pull those shoulders back. Exhale, fingertips come down. Inhale to straighten. Stay here in pyramid for about three breaths. You'll hear this call out the pyramid or waterfall. 
Good. Take an exhale. Move the hand. Get your brick ready if you need. Inhale, open to triangle. So remember when I sit on this side, I feel like I'm tipping down or turning down. I'm going to use the brick to bring, the brick to bring the floor up. Triangle pose. Good. You remember what was from here? Side angle. Good. You really want to get those hips open. I know it's a little tough. Keep that knee opening. Reach the arm over the ear. 90 degrees in that front knee. Good. Inhale. Come on up. Slowly transition your way to the other side. Side angle. Remember, first we did forearm on the side. Then we reached, and then we put this palm behind us. Good. Plant the palm. Step back. Down dog. The right leg lift. Hopefully you feel your hips getting more open. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, interlace the hands. Inhale, take that back in. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, breathe, set it up. Exhale, palms come down. Inhale, pyramid. Woo! This is my tight side. <laughs> Triangle pose, inhale. And you can play with these levels, you know, just to see. If you're like, oh, then raise up a level. If you're still like that, raise it up a level. You just want everything to line up. Good. What was next? Uh, not triangle. That was triangle. Side angle. Let's see if I can remove the brick. Oh, nope. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Inhale, come on up. Take that side angle on the opposite side. First variation, and then second variation. All right, we're going to do this one more time just like this, and I'm going to start to show you the variations for the bind. Step back, down dog. Whenever you need to, you can take child pose. I just want you to keep breathing, okay? And just meet up with me when you can. Rise to the toes, bend the knees, step up top of the mat. Half this inhale, inhale, focus on those shoulders. Exhale, fold, inhale up. Exhale, interlace. Inhale to open. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release, step back to down dog. Let's take it. One breath, one movement. So remember, warrior one. I said I would guide you either physically or verbally. You can watch me and follow along. Good. Remember, when you get to pyramid, hold for three breaths. Good. Triangle. I need my brick on that side. Good. Side angle. Lift the arm. Open up the chest. Good. Let's go to the other side. All right, remember? First variation. And then the second variation. Good. Take the palm step back. Down dog. Right leg lift. This is through. For your one. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Take the bind. Humble warrior. Release and straighten pure hands. Open up triangle. Good job. Side angle. Okay, come on up. Take those two side angle variations. Keep breathing. Nice and at the palm, sit back. Down dog. Rise to the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, step up, fold in. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up, inhale. Reach. Exhale. Fold in. And now we're going to start to add the variations for the sign. Right, left leg lift. Where you want. So it's going to stay the same. It's going to stay the same. I'm just going to show you some variations. 
and then we'll do it with the variations or whatever variation that you choose. All right, so now we're coming to this side. So we've been here, and then we've been here. Good. All right, now I just want you to keep this on and bring your fingertips down. Keep opening. All right. Three. Remember, you can use the brick if you need to bring the floor up. Keep opening. Keep the belly in. Good. Just pump the back. Lay your leg. Where you're one. Have your strap near. We're going to need it in a few moments. All right, so remember we're here, do it on this side, then we're here. Now I want you to try it on this side. See if you can bring your fingertips down. Open. Keep pressing that knee against the tricep and tricep against the knee. Open that knee. So if you notice, you can tell automatically this side is tighter because no matter how much I'm opening it, it's still kind of dipping forward. So this is my tight side. Start to notice these things in yourself so that you can balance them out and work on them. No judgment, no judgment. Plant the palms, step back, down dog. Rise to the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, step up. Then half lift. Hold and inhale. Exhale. Good, hold in. Good, now we're gonna do it with that variation. Left leg up. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Woo. Inhale. Take the other side. First variation. Second variation. And then third. Plant the palm, step back, and do the right leg. As you see, your body is getting used to the flow and the movement. You're memorizing it kind of, but not really. The memorization is your muscles. The memorization is not by, oh, which pose is next? It's what pose your body is going into where it feels most comfortable going into. And you're memorizing it a little bit in a sense, right? Good. Step back, rise to the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, step up. Hold in. Woo! You okay? <laughs> Breathing, maybe a little sweat. The down dog. All right, we're just going to change the variation once we get to that second side. And then we're going to work our way into the full. So I'm still here with you, guiding you physically. All right. So we made it back here. All right, let's see if this hand can reach behind the foot. Oh, what? Behind on the other side of the foot, not behind. We can be behind or on the other side. Now, do you see what happened with me? I'm like, oh. So, open. Nice and strong. Nice and strong. Nice and strong. Good. We have the hands. Oh, sit back. <laughs> let's do the right side. I can feel my hips open up a little bit more, but I also feel, woo, uh, my thighs, my hips, because I'm, we're really using and working these legs, right? 
fighting that life. All right, there that's one. There's two. There's three. Let's see what happens on this side. You remember this is my tight side, so I don't have a lot. I'm going to try. So palm comes to the other side of the foot or to the back of the foot. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, plant the palm, step back. Then I rise to the toes. Bend the knees, look between the hands, fold. Half lift. Fold in. Back in. Ready? All right, let me grab. Step back in the down facing dog. Let me grab your strap. Okay. And it close to you. Good. Left leg is going to lift. Warrior one. Humble warrior. Here are middles. Triangle pose. Side angle pose. Good. Grab your strap. Let's go to the other side. All right. We gotta make it like that. Hold it in your uh, left hand. And to think about what hand that was. All right. So we have the variation we had here. Forgive my strap. Right. And then we had here, and then we had here. So what I want you to do is come back to this. Make sure you have this first, and the strap is behind me. Reach underneath, grab it, grab it, open up. Got it? See that? All right, we got the behind. Now make sure that this is not hugging your crotch area. I did this. I did a pose or a variation of this pose for like 10 years and the I was a speaker was like, you can't have it in your crotch here. <laughs> so make sure that it's on, I'll stand up for a second. Make sure it's kind of wrapping on the uh, out on the inside of your uh, right thigh. <laughs> All right, so open. Now you can start walking your hands closer together, but again, keep make sure that the shoulders are back and the hands are behind the butt, not in your crotch. <laughs> All right, so that's the bind. Next time, let's try for it without the strap. Maybe. All right, right leg lift. For your one. Take the bind, back again, hold in, humble. Release down, loop pyramid. Open up, hit the triangle. Hit side angle. Good, let's grab the strap, go back to the other side. All right, so we had this version, remember? And then we had this version. So the strap is now in your right hand, all right? And then we have this version. All right, try not to do this. Open up, start, grab the strap. Whoop, you can grab underneath first and then open up. All right, keep walking your hands toward each other. Remember, watch your crotch, all right? Walk your hands close, close to each other, and eventually you'll be able to let the strap go. Are you breathing? All right, step back. Woo! Let's try this one or two more times. Wait, I forgot, we gotta go to the top of the mat. Stay here in down for, downward dog for as long as you need to. <laughs> Find your breath before you move. Have this inhale, fold, on up, interlace, open up, and fold. Get release, step back to down dog. Left leg is gonna lift. Step through, warrior one, hip and plant the back foot. Good, take the bind, take the back bend. Yep, hold in. Let the hands take pyramid. Open up, take triangle. The more space you need, you might be able to push the block away. Good, all right, side angle. Good, let's get that strap. Pull the other side. So first we had here, and then we had here. 
And then we flip the palm behind us. And then we brought our hand down. And then we're going to grab the strap. Where is it? There it is. Now, by, by here, by now, you'll be able to either grab your hands, clasp them together, or walk your fingers, walk your hands closer to each other. This is your bind. This is your side angle pose with the bind, whether or not you have a strap or not. The strap, all props are just going to help you to create space in your body to help you get into the pose with a little more ease and just to help you open up. Good. Get that. Bring that back. Warrior one. Quick design. And humble. Good. Pyramid. And Triangle. I don't have any more space on this side. Wait, let me see. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. All right. Side angle. Nice. Grab the strap. Let's go to the other side. Now, I might have it on this side. I'm going to try to show you. All right. Reach it. Reach it. And then behind. And then down. All right. Let's see if we can grab it. All right. Open. Now walk the fingers closer to each other. Now I'm going to drop the strap. I'm going to grab the vine and then I'm going to open back up. Whoa! Right? Breathe! Breathe, breathe, breathe. You got it. Ah, release, plant the palm, step back. Rise to the toes, bend the knees, look up between the hands, step up. Fold in. Yeah. Now, if you want to continue, you can continue to do another round. But since it's 12.52 and I am live and I'm asking you to stay with me for just this hour, I do not want to, I don't want to mess with your time, right? All right, come on to your knees. Woo! Big back on your heels. Nice. So you can probably take a hero pose, take the feet apart, and sit your butt down in between your heels, but just make sure you're sitting up straight. You'll feel this pull on the quads and the knees. Take your hands behind you. Maybe do a little stretch. Woo! You don't have to go down this far. Woo! How about it? Yeah, I want you to just swing your legs right out in front. I'm going to turn into the front. You can stay down and turn to the front just so uh, you can see what I'm doing. All right, first thing is we're just going to take a forward fold, reach the arms, sit up nice and tall, reach for your shins, your toes, the back of your feet, whatever you got. Take a few breaths, let the head hang. We still got, we got time. Don't worry, we'll get you out of here on time. Good, slowly roll up. I want you to take this right knee, bend it, plant the foot down, okay? Try to sit up as tall as you can, turn to the front. You can see that part. Sit up as tall as you can, because when the knee comes in, this is what you're going to want to do. And you see how my shoulders are all shrugged. I want you to sit up nice and tall, all right? So we're going to sit up nice and tall, belly in, take this left arm up. Twist, twist, don't let the knee go out. Twist and see if you can hook it to the outside of the knee, okay? I am going to, or you can take the elbow, the eye of the elbow, wrap it around like you're hugging the knee. That's going to be my version because I don't have enough space to keep my shoulders pulled back. You're going to notice, you're going to start to notice this stuff about your body. And the most important thing is just for you to uh, notice it, balance it out with your workouts and yoga. Balance it out with your mind so that it'll be balanced and it won't cause injury. Because if you do too much on one side, too much, you're going to injure yourself. All right? And we do not want that. Definitely not in the midst of this crap. Right? All right. This right hand is going to come behind. Sit up tall. Hug that knee and twist. You're going to feel it. Keep wrapping this right shoulder back. Same thing with the left shoulder. Open the chest.
Good. Slowly come back to the center. Now bring the knee down. Bring the foot to the inside of the side. Let this knee open out to the right and plug that femur bone in, so that hip bone in. Ooh, plug it into that little socket. This is a ball and socket joint. So plug it in so that it's supported. Turn your torso, your belly back towards your left. Uh, what is this? My left side. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall. Fold in. Maybe reach for the shin. Maybe reach for the foot. Whatever you got. This is head to knee pose. John Yu Shir Shasana. He's pulling at his back, though. So is there a feeling in this right side? Start to come down and release your breath. Here, slowly come on up. Nice. Extend this leg, shake it out, and do the left side. All right, so take this knee, sit up nice and tall, take this knee, bend it. Ooh, this is a little tighter for me. So I gotta make myself sit up, right? Sit up nice and tall. You can take whichever version you want. I'm gonna take the eye of the elbow and wrap it around. Lift up and twist. Keep hugging the shoulder blades back behind you. Now, because of the space, I can't quite get my elbow, the eye of the elbow wrapped, so I am taking my hand, and I'm going to pull it towards me. We're not going to judge the space. Oh, I can't do it on this side. Oh, woe is me. Ah, nope. That's the end of that crap, right? Get unwind. Take John, use your shashana, then he comes down. Knee, uh, knee foot comes to the inside of the groin. Knee opens off to the left. Plug that femur bone in. Right into that socket. Turn your torso towards the left side. Lift up. Nope. Not for me. <laughs> Lift up and fold in. So here's where you might tell where you're very tight because when I fold in here, I can feel the tightness in my SI joints that are in the back. And those joints are what connect uh, the um, psoas, actually connect the hips to the sacrum, right, to the low back. So I am actually tight in both places on that side. So just notice. Come on up, nice and slow. Shake this leg out. I'm going to turn back to the front. What time are you looking at? All right. So we're going to probably have just a little short rest, a short shavasana. You can either stay seated or not. I just want you to take your hips, sway them from side to side just to roll. You'll get a nice roll on those butt cheeks, on those glutes. <laughs> and then come on down to your back, to shavasana. And... This bone on the top of my head is preventing me from lying down. All right, so go ahead and extend the feet to the long edges of the mat, to the short edges of the mat. Bring the arms down by the side, close the eyes, take breath. Doesn't matter whether I said it was a minute. How are you going to honor this minute? How are you going to honor this time? Are you going to think about the fact that you only have a minute? Are you going to think about the fact that you have to do more work after this? Or are you actually going to take this moment and rest? I'd rather rest. Breathe and release the breath. Come back to your natural breathing. Keep the body still as you can. Keep the breath moving. moving. Start to wiggle the fingers and toes. Very intentional, intentionally and purposefully. So not just well, know what you're doing. Know that you're moving your big toe on your right foot. Know that you're moving your pinky finger on your left hand. Feel the connection to the core. Open and close the hands, feel the rotation of the wrist, maybe the ankles, maybe the hips. Start to move the bigger limbs now. Yeah, bend the knees, make the feet down. Now, 
want you to bring your knees over your hips. Okay, don't hug them in. Bring your knees over your hips. And then bring your palms to the top of the shin, press down. You're going to feel a nice release in that low back. You can even rock. Roll up onto your right side. Take a moment before you come back into this moment. How do you want to create this moment? Do you want to rush back into it and jump back to work? So we push up to a comfortable seated position, or do you want to come into this moment with peace so that when you do go back to your, your work, that it will be peaceful and you'll let your head will be clear and then you'll be able to come and approach it in a different way. All right, comfortable. Cross-legged position, seated position, bring your palms to your heart. Take a big breath in, exhale. Breathe it out, slightly bow the chin. Honor, this practice is to honor you, 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 and only you. We don't do that. We honor everybody else. We do stuff for everybody else, but we don't do stuff for ourselves. Remember, it's about self-care, self-healing. Honor yourself. Give yourself an affirmation right now. I love you. I am the most awesomest teacher in the world. I am the most awesomest mailman or nurse, frontline worker. Thank yourself because you do you do you do some stuff. Okay? You do some important stuff, no matter what anybody says. So honor yourself. Honor your practice. Not just on this yoga mat, but out there in the world. You do good things. Doesn't matter what you do, you do good things. Honor the people that you practice with, our family, our coworkers. Because they help us grow, no matter if you don't like it or not. <laughs> and then the places that you practice, whether it's in your home, whether it's in your office, or out there in the world. These things teach us to be aware. And this corona stuff is really, really challenging us to go inside and um, helping us grow and helping us to think more mindfully, right? And if you didn't know that, yes, that's what it's doing. That's one of the things that this is doing for us. I wish you light, love, peace, and joy in your journey. Bow in to yourself and say namaste. Namaste just means the light in me. Salute and honor the light in me. I want to thank you so much for joining me. My name is Regina Ward again, if we don't know each other. Thank you for joining me during this series this week. This is our beginner vinyasa series. Next week, I'm going to go, uh, my fingers crossed. <laughs> We're going to go to the intermediate, intermediate series that's going to start on Sunday, same days of this week. If you miss it, don't worry. It'll be posted on um, my uh, YouTube channel. So the intermediate, again, this is not, you don't have to take the beginner. Um, you, it would be helpful if you have had some yoga practice. Um, we are going to, because I might uh, just touch on the poses that we did this week, I touch on standing poses. Um, I'm, I'm still going to give alignment. Uh, but uh, I am going, we're going to go into balancing poses, all right? We didn't do any balancing poses this week, so we're going to start going into balancing poses. And when you go into that, that's when we need to kick in that breath and that awareness. And when you take balancing poses and you move from one pose to the next, that's going to take a lot of uh, just focus and meditation, okay? So that's why it's called intermediate. We're going to throw in some planks. Uh -huh. We didn't do any planks this week. We went from down dog to standing. All right, or to our knees. We're going to throw in some planks um, and, and maybe some side balances, okay? And then I might start to, or I'm going to start to weave in a little bit more of a uh, uh, energetic message, maybe something that goes a little bit deeper into, deeper into our layers, because this is like a physical layer. And so we've been doing a little workout, right? But you want that workout to go deeper so that we can uh, prevent any kind of illnesses, any kind of physical stuff that's going to come up, all right? So that's going to be the intermediate. That's going to start Sunday with me at noon Eastern Standard Time. Again, thank you so much for joining me, um, and I wish you light, love, peace, and joy in your journey. Um, thank you. I am signing out. So I'm signing out of Facebook Live first. Yeah, I'm going to sign out. All right. Thank you, Facebook.